love watching her work. Oh shit, that's weird. Do not say that out loud, Max. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You're cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sport is more my style anyway. Finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet, rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Shitty mezcal? All of the smoke. None of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. How are we feeling now? <sighs> like... <laughs> like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. <sighs> you are such a disaster. Oh god, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. Okay. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back, and Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Sorry. Did you say someone called Granite Joe is Alpex smoking up? I take you to meet Granite Joe. Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his blunts. And do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. I take a puff and Back to Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. You now have one blunt. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary, kill. I ain't And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's thrash, Chuck. Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> I 
probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I only need one eye to see the show anyway. Hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. <laughs> I run over to the spot where she would land. Wait, don't you have an ice pack in one hand? Oh. Oops. Yes, I do. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she... Stone cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with Let's see. One half-smoked blunt, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> if that was just the dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Wars show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence won't be things worse for everyone around me. Keep saying that about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. I'm doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? At this point, you saying one mean thing would make me dissolve into a puddle of tears. Hey. I have never made a girl cry on a first date before. And I don't want to start now. Look. What can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a Category 5 hurricane. Um. Sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no, I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me and I need to know I'm not just projecting. So. You kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. I'm 
also very polite. So, you go first. Are you trying to break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I, I have to get back to bed. So, any idea what you're gonna do? Mm -hmm. What the hell? Return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad. Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? I doubt the home invader attacked my pillows. This is an inside job. Looks like whoever was here is gone now. Thank God. Somebody wanted to get in here really bad. Sophie's books. What could anyone want with those? <gasps> They're still here? Fuck! I think. 
think they just went into the dark room. I can't let them go through my investigation stuff. Doesn't sound good. Ah! Come on, jump. I'll catch you. <sighs> you stay up there then. Gather your thoughts. First Chloe, and now Sophie. It feels like everywhere I go, somebody gets hurt. Hmm. I sense this is a cat thing, and not a trespasser thing. Everybody knows that bad shit happens in basements. Okay, you just freeze, okay? I don't know what the fuck is happening, but until I do, you're staying put right where you are. Yeah, that really doesn't work for me. Wait! ways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit. How do I 
know which way. I haven't lost her. I almost got her! Where did you even come from? Are you from the future? Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot? I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff. In your dark room? About Lucas? About Vin? About Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about! That's not true! I'm trying to help Safi! Of course you were! God, I'm so sick of people trying to help! Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Super Max? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always 
said you were too soft for academia. Um, getting lake water on your sofa. Shit. Right. Uh, I should change. Um, be right back. Just need to go upstairs and put on something dry. And might be good to see if Daisy has calmed down some. So much I want to ask Safi about. I don't even know where to start. Shape shifter. You You've got powers. powers? Oh. Here, person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Ah, huh. clever little minx, you. 
Hmm. Deal. Let's play. How long have you had your power? Uh, since high school? Right after dad left. Mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. So, are you like that girl in Frozen? Ice powers and musical numbers. No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one, except... You're... dead. Okay. I'm gonna... Need a moment with that one. This you? Were you gonna say something? Sorry. At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. 
Hell, I started to think you were in on it too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? I wanted to wait till I got more information. You've got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. Seriously, Max, I thought you were covering for Gwen. Thought I couldn't trust you anymore. But actually, I was just trying to prevent your murder in another timeline. Yeah, that's <laughs> honestly a relief. <sighs> Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. I guess Lucas could be taken down a peg. Or three. He's still successful, still tenured, and still a man. He'll be okay. So, that was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone. Mmm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. Nothing says take me back like vandalism. Kids don't spray paint their names in hearts anymore. What about shape shifting into Moses? No. He's off limits. Not that I couldn't, but, you know, it's Moses. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little different. Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know why. It was self-defense. Your impression of Amanda? <laughs> I have some notes. <laughs> Good enough to fool most people. I thought you were most people. I guess I should let you ask me something now. <sighs> My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You're really white privileged into all the cool powers. You'd think so. But rewinding was... Too easy to abuse. Knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant. Oh, 
the things I would undo, the bad sex I would unhave, the amazing sex I'd rehab. <laughs> Until you learn that to move forward, you can only choose one path. And you have to live with it. My turn again, huh? <laughs> How exactly do you shape shift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it, Wow. Yup. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. <laughs> oh. All right, so you used to time travel and now you can switch timelines? What, what changed? You know that blue haired girl? That was my fault. She died, shot and bleeding out on the floor of our high school bathroom. All alone. All alone except for me. The one person who could have helped her. Stuck powerless behind a stall a few feet away. Shit, Max. I saw the article in your memories box. You can't blame yourself. <laughs> I can't. My powers created a storm. Literally, I mean. And I had a choice. Save my town or save her. I chose Arcadia Bay. I didn't try to rewind again for years. Not until I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had. By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. 
God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet, and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her. Not really. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became... All the daughters we don't talk about. Your book. Yep. And at the eleventh hour, she got cold feet. Vin's statement. Bingo. He was supposed to be Maya's friend. <laughs> but Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Ben, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Safi, what if... What if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? I hope not. To start, <laughs> I trust you, Max Caulfield. Enough for both of us. But, Sophie, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. The book is... You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers, and we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And you'll be expecting a mock trial. You won't be expecting us. <sighs> Want to nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. Ah! 
here at Krampus, but shit, I'm still reeling. Sophie has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she deserves. Scream, not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's not really giving me the cheery holiday feels that I expect this time of year. Why not? The guy with the tongue carries a bag. Just like Santa. Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is, when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. It's been all day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. I can't promise, but you have me, other Moses, and two powers between us. That's a lot in our favor. It's kind of bullshit it takes that much to tell the truth. So, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben. He's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do. But I doubt she'd listen to me. We are not on great terms, but I can try. Great. Let me know when you're done. Enjoy the party! <laughs> Operation Expose Lucas is a go. 